Before you finish up, Delta out now. But remember, the street's not gonna give you any hints or second chances. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. You're not a gonk brained Militech recruit. Get moving! Find cover, quick! Nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Stealthy now, V. You ever relive a ninja BD? Just like that. Done. On to the next area. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Almost, almost. Again, from the top. Stand on the platform. Then we wrap this party up. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down. But careful. Look tough. Come on, you got this. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class.
Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. Dull bit coming up now. Blocking blows instead of dealing them. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Oh. Oh. Want to see this fool punch in air next? Don't let him land anything. You've done well in mastering the way of the. Fool. Let's move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. Now show me what you've learned. You're cruising already. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way.
Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep a looking.
don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, this does not look good. She's in the tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Her people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, jack into her biomod. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural port. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomob. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomob working. Checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomob. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. Do your thing. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. 
Engage, Vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Mm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Landing. Scav clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back. Now. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine, 110 norepinephrine, 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano, I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's they gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. She's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you are to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Can't stop digging Night City.
city like any other, just bigger. Oh, my. Just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. <laughs> I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, man, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Man on her ass, tailing us. Cuidado. I don't like this, V. Not for a tiny bit. Scavs! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Shoot! Can't! Keep her steady! Hold tight, V! Mierda! Perdón! <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. It's okay. Sorry, it can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Damn, they're pulling out all the stops. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? Uh, hard to go... You're... Girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it.
Everyone! Ain't got all day! Good. Check it out, V. Shit's going down. Press! Get the hand! Fucking shoot! Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego.
I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bio mine. But then I'll need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah. For real, he's a military bot. Got a sweet deal, and a chuma mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. What do you say? You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. 
you choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside old Watson. Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot.
Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J.O.B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but. Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. Important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but T-Bug, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. It was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? 
<laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, this whole deal? He's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back. And my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? This you is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neurosocket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? 
Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. We need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside.
Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. <laughs> Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from.
chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, sure. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slotting the shard.
got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Corporal agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nug.
Shoot at me, I'll be. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kings. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. But I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Must on a way go. Telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck ups toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there.
lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down! I just wanna talk! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Fail to recover that transport and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep, now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Check out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Ugh. Him you can let go. Wanna hear what he has to say? Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment. So I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Ship spiked with a virus, clearly. That is true. If something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes, not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way. And I'll be... Seeing you real Eddie's on the cred ship are clean. You're making a mistake! This cunt's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her!
Vaya por fin. Ah, there you are. Hello. T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. Forget it, Jack. We'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses... Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Ah, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. Ah, uh, well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. 
Sit your ass down for a planet bullet in your skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? A skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. can talk. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0-D12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls, dangling from ceilings... Mm hmm Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Be waiting here. Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Ah! Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> Man, he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you gonna consider my offer now? <sighs> mm -hmm. I don't wait! Here's the cred. Hell. I'll even toss in some info as a friendly bonus. Militech's on to you. They're close. Wait, what? Cred chip was spiked with a virus. Don't worry. I wiped it. Check it.
If this is a trick, I'm gonna introduce you to our meat Double grinder. Game. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Piece of shit. What the? Shit! Militech! Let's get the fuck out of here! Follow me! Militech couldn't manage it on the slide with the chips. They go to the big gun. More their fucking style, I'd say. Let's go! For the ventilation shaft! Militic gear!
Let's get out of here. Huh? No. Wanted to let you know I like your style. Here you go. Come on, V. Let's get out of here. I can't fucking believe that guy. Buzzing around everywhere. Wait. Past the gate. We Hold your fire there. for me. I'd like a word with them. You shot at my people. You know this guy? They drew and fired first. A fact of no consequence to Militech management. But if you'd worked with Stout, I'd be dead by now. Might not have intended it, but you saved my life. Now I'm saving yours. Makes us even. Appreciate it. You're not half bad. Caring for my interests, not yours. You were followed. But I'm sure you know that. Stout's people were on your tail, my people were on theirs. In the end, she lost her nerve. Thought she hopped in bed with Maelstrom behind her back. Hit the big red button prematurely. Classic. When you don't know what to do, why not order an all-out assault on a food factory? Mm-hmm. About sums it up. I made sure it blew up in her face. Business with Maelstrom hardly ever ends well, does it? What happened to Stout? She placed some bad bets. Her clock ran out. Simple as that. Suffice to say, you won't be seeing her again. And you? Why are you here? Well, I still don't know who the mole is. I was hoping the Maelstromers would shed some light on it. By the way, where's Royce? Need a word with him, too. It's been a pleasure. Holy shit, V. I wasn't sure we'd walk out in one piece. I think we're done. What now? Uh, I had enough for one day, let me tell you. Let Dex know we got his toy for him. Fats will want to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. Ahí luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the military gang? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. 
gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. I warned Royce. We made a deal. You got some balls, Mr. B. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? Still on the to-do list. Mm -hmm. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck.待って。落ち着き。ああ、大丈夫だって。しっかり見ておくべきだ。ああ、落ち着きなよ。ああ、何が起きてるんだ。
Knew you were just window shopping. Okay. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch. It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Ha, huh, get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have.
Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured. It had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed on, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. Know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Nothing's wrong. Really. Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's 
Cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that, true. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could Cyberspace's watches and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Nope, don't buy it. Now watch his integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations. And collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Study finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an Emperor's son? 
You have everything. Yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for uh -uh. analyzing no, details, no, 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 no. human perception, even uh, boosted. Do Doesn't grasp. Hear it. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash. Get out, and we sell the BD.
Get to those psycho freaks from. Studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Muddy! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Just breathe slowly, calmly. You're okay. It's all right. That flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind, roll it back to the top. Can I, can I? Are you a 
Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Okay. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. To the creator. You go in. Yeah. We shall begin. Okay. Right here. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now, you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay. We have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and no. Sif and Everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Okay. Fuck! On your car, little shitheads. Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, okay. hey? We Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. We're due today on two flavors. Are you there for anybody? What a secret in the flooring! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Before I blow your fucking head off! See that? They shot him, and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit.
Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. Think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn. I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where your Nobu's are coming together. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. She sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father is a tired, visualless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. 
I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburoi is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must know that. them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. No. They'll have my head for it. Then you should have the combat. Make yourself comfortable if you should try to certainly explain the risks involved. Visual is the logic. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Alarm firmware is fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. No. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taking a particular interest in your father. You shall already with his number G, and you'll be able to show me such a justice. Someone else is a father. We have 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 a father
Enough. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can't be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense. Edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. On me. Oh, got it. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. System is all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice. But come here already. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, you'll like this. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special temp controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. I miss this. You. I know.
Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. <laughs> A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just... Oh, Donna Gies. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. So I... Ah, I'm not girl, <laughs> Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We've got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you?
talking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. You sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if... Some suspicion takes root in his mind. It shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that'll cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy.
looking, Mr. V. Turns out everyone's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V.
Que ya tengo planes para esta noche. Virgen Santísima, ma. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. Yeah, about time, Holmes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Funny. What? The club with the hottest contracts in town. Doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, Chum. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. And who might you clowns be? We're friends of Dexter Deshawn. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. 
Way ahead of you, viejo. This is it. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All set on those. Looks like we're up. There. That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? I'm good, thanks. For real? I'm celebrating. Come on. It's on me. Chingada madre, fine. Have it your way. A tequila old fashioned with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. One Johnny Silverhand coming up. Right on, chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. I live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. By the way, name's Jackie Wells. You want to write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshaun, see Dex you Dex a regular? You come here a lot? A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. The Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Yeah, well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. Break a leg. Thanks. This way. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right. Excelsior. Cold hard eddies as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Well, let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few Reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> City Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. 
Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Parker chick? I don't know. Sent out mixed signals, so I got mixed feelings. One night, sipping champ paradise with Yorinobu. Next night, chatting it up with regulars at Lizzie's. Worlds don't match up. Struck me, too. You saying we putting two and two together and getting five? Some part of the equation's missing, then. Clearly. That's why y'all gotta fix her. Anyone try to fuck you? They first gotta fuck their way through Dex to Sean's 300-pound ass. Anything else? Uh, Mr. V? Think she just wanted to see what I was about. Wanted to see what she was about, huh? How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deets. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Kompeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Oh, hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to... take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo Armsteel. Case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Transport's a Delamain. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The no-tell motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Cut for fresh talent's always the same and non-negotiable. 30%. Bro, 30? Every part in this drama carries its risks. That's the value of yours, as determined by me. Come on, Dex. Isn't that a little low? Hey, hold on, Holmes. Who got the flathead? Who pulled the intel from the brain dance? And we're going in a hotel full of soccer men to swipe some fucking toy from the boss's son. We are the job. 
Hmm. And who's providing transport? A top-tier net runner and a lead-proof plan and intel? You sure you want to go down this road? Go on now, don't be shy. Jack's right, Dex. We ought to get more than 30. We deserve more. Fine, 35, and that's my final offer. I can live with that. It's my final offer, too. Hmm. <laughs> Been a while since I got a run for my eddies. They're actually kind of fun. Last thing, kompeki has got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, because old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues? Now's your chance. You and Dex know each other a while. Um, why? Uh, you know, peeps say all kinds of things. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Marcus Aurelius, I think. <laughs> you and Dex both philosophizing. No wonder you get along. Plan. What's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. I'm good. No questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. In getting rich, you mean? 